Hey guys, Tim here. I just uh, kind of want to give you guys an update. I put three videos on of the Taylor Craft, and I kind of want to give you a little bit of a brief history on the Taylor Craft, and then I want to give you a little history on this. I broke the cardinal rule of the tailwheel guy, bought a nose wheel plane, but bought it for my daughter to learn in. She has quite a bit of time in the tailwheel also, but this is what she's going to finish up her private. And uh, we even have some other kids too that have gotten their privates in it too. Pretty good old plane. I'll get more into this one after I tell you a little bit about Taylor Craft. So the Taylor Craft was in this hangar, and you guys, the first video I put out, it was hadn't been opened in 20 plus years. Bought the plane from a friend of mine. It was his grandpa's plane. They bought it brand new. Um, the tail number on it, 62472, is actually his grandma and grandpa's anniversary day. Um, when we bought it from his grandma, she said the one thing that we couldn't change was the color or the end number. And we respect that. We love the blue paint. We love the sunburst on the thing. Um, we also named the plane. Well, my daughter did. Um, we named it Mr. Wilson. The guy's name was Mel Wilson. Um, later in the hangar, I'll show you. There's a sign over there. He, uh, he bought a brand new. I have the original bill of sale for it. Um, when they bought it in 1975, can't remember the date off the top of my head. I have to pull the paperwork out. Um, they paid a little over $14,000 for it brand new. Now, <clears throat> mind you, back then, that was a lot of money. I mean, you know, we think about planes today is we buy 172s that are loaded up for well over $100,000. I mean, even these little 150s are you know, thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars. Um, but there's a reason. These are easy, cheap, easy to run, easy to fly. Um, they got good flaps on it. They slow down quick. It, it it's really good to get build some confidence. Um, Taylor Craft not so much. Uh, I struggled a little bit getting um, getting my tailwheel endorsement. Of course, mind you, my daughter and I started flying in 2021. About when COVID hit. Well, 2020. I think March or May of 2020, we started flying. We started out in a rocket champ. Um, had a great instructor. We were both just going to go for a light sport. Uh, guy out at the airport that I was at when we were flying the champ, he uh, had a Taylor Craft. And he took me up in it one day, and I was sold on it. And most of us that love the Taylor Craft, that's what happens to us. Um, so we were at a birthday party the next week, and that's when I started telling Josh. He goes, hey, I heard you're flying. My grandpa used to fly this and that. And we got talking, and he says, he said something about the Taylor Craft. And he goes, really, I got a Taylor Craft. And Josh is a hardworking guy, great guy. Um, he works for my sister. Um, I looked at him, I go, really? I mean, he's a gearhead, and uh, his grandpa was too. They owned a service shop for years, and um so it took about a month or so. It was cold out. We came and looked at it in February. It was like 15 below zero when we pulled that hangar door open in the first video I got. And, you know, we had some stuff in here we had to move out to make room. Um, and then we spent the, la the rest of the year. That was in February of 20? February 20, February 2021. We, uh, we did a top end overhaul on it. The plane is original, 193 original hours the day we opened the hangar. We have 230 on it now, so we've been flying it. Um, right now it's down the other hangar, we're putting new mags in it. We had a problem with the mags on Tuesday, so we're gonna have the mags redone by one of the guys on the field here. So that's kind of the, the little bit of the history on the plane and kind of the channel. Um, I'm new to all this filming stuff. I've never done it before. I'm grateful I have an 18 year old daughter that knows a lot about it. Um, I'm learning every day, so I don't claim to be a flight instructor. I'm a new time private pilot, as most of you guys probably watching this. You're probably thumbing through and you see Taylor Craft, and you may be starting out on your light sport journey or your private journey. It's a long road. It's a lot of study, and it was probably one of the hardest things I did, and I just, as of yesterday, got my certificate in the mail. So I'm really proud. That was one of the hardest things I did. My daughter's finishing hers up on Sunday, and uh, she's uh, planning to go to college. She wants to fly commercially um really really makes me really proud although she you knows she's a good student she uh, she she struggled on it too i mean it's not something to take lightly and uh if you're gonna start on this journey don't do it alone i mean we've uh this is one charlie eight here we're just well not really north of rockford we're north of rockford airport um really good great field we got some good instructors out here the ea the eaa chapter has been awesome to us um 
The airport's been awesome to us. Little grass strip, 2,200 feet. You got to come in over stadium lights. I'll show you some videos of that and land. Uh, first time I ever seen this strip, I told my daughter in the dark, I seen it. I said, I don't want to fly out of here. I'd stay in Mount Morris, which is out in the middle of a cornfield, which is a beautiful grass field too. So if you're ever in the Midwest or you're flying around, you know, Chicago or just West Chicago, look up one Charlie 8, stop and see us. Um, I'll get in a little bit more on, on 5993 Golf. I'll give a little bit more history on this. We bought this from an awesome guy named Steve. Um, he was a private pilot. It's a great little plane. I know I keep talking about it. I like flying it. Don't tell my tailwheel buddies, but it's a pretty cool little plane to fly. Um, thanks for your time, and uh, thanks for watching.